Today on this 2011 Dodge Grand Caravan, we're going to install part number 75579 from DrawType. Alright, now this is what the hitch looks like when it's installed in a vehicle. Next, we'll give you some measurements to help you out in selecting some accessories such as a bicycle rack or a cargo carrier. Now from the top of the receiver opening down to the ground is going to be 12 and a quarter inches. And from the center of a hitch pin hole to the outside edge of a bumper, we're looking at 6 inches. Now we'll go ahead and show you how it's installed. We're going to start off our install by lowering exhaust. We're going to unbolt the exhaust hanger right here, right behind the rear wheel. We're also going to remove a hanger that's just in front of the axle. Optionally, if you need just a little more working room, there's one more hanger forward that you can remove as well. Now we'll go ahead and remove the factory hardware that's in the frame. And this will serve as our mounting bolts as well. We'll do the same thing over on the passenger side. All right, at this point, we can go ahead and install the hitch. Now, you definitely want to have an extra set of hands to help hold up the hitch while you install the hardware. And we're reinstalling the factory hardware. When you install the hitch, we just got it loose for now. Make sure you don't smash this line right here. It's flexible, so you can just move it out of the way when you need to. And then we can go ahead and continue on installing the rest of our hardware. Okay, with all our hardware installed, we'll go ahead and snug them down, then torque them down as specified in the instructions. For our hardware all torqued down, one more thing we need to do. We need to put a little piece of protective a loom around one of the lines to protect it from the hitch, and then we can go ahead and reinstall our exhaust. Alright, and there you have it for part number 75579 from DrawType.